So everybody wants to travel. Everybody wants to go certain places. Everybody wants to visit certain places. But normally cost is a big barrier. Cost and maybe getting time off. Well, I am not your boss, so I cannot help you get time off. And I am not a lifestyle coach, so I will not be giving you new ways to make money. But what I can help you on is how to save money and how to save money specifically on hotels. So there are pretty much two main tips that I employ myself when I'm traveling to get these reviews done, when I travel the city to city. And the first one when it comes to hotels is when do I book? Timing. Timing is key. Now I know that sounds pretty simple and you're like, duh, if you book earlier you'll get better prices. That is actually false. Unlike airlines where it's if you book earlier, you save money. Hotels are the opposite. I actually noticed this correlation myself, but then I did a little bit more research, and you know what? Some of the research I did backs up what I thought myself. The closer it is to your check-in date, the cheaper it gets. So the golden rule I wanna say is 14 days before your trip. That's when it'll start to get cheaper. So I have also seen an article from Forbes where if you wait until day of at 4 p.m. after 4 p.m. just flock there and book and you could get savings up to half off sometimes. Now that is best case scenario. I have not tried that out myself personally so I cannot speak on it. I do have some friends however who wait until the very last minute until 4 p.m. that day and they do this they travel and they swear by it. I just haven't done it myself, so I'm not gonna touch on that. I'll let you guys know about that maybe in a separate video down the road. But I've also seen some evidence where they say if you book within the last two days, you could get tremendous savings as well. The last two days. Now, I have not had the balls to try this one out just to go in like <clears throat> with two days or I haven't done enough research with that. I do know that worked for me once in Miami um, we got an Airbnb, like last minute it canceled, and then we booked another one that was way cheaper day of. So that is my only experience booking within the last two days of like a real hotel and noticing it being that much cheaper. But as you guys can see here, these are just my Vegas hotels when I booked early July thinking about coming here for Labor Day, and then I really booked it right now. As you guys can see, the price definitely dipped. Oh, we're booking up with different sites. La 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 la. When we first originally booked, it was for the cheapest price. I'm obviously gonna go for the cheapest option. And now this is the new cheapest option. Not a huge, huge difference, but quite substantial depending upon saving yourself a few bucks and depending on how big your splits are. If it is just you, two, three hundred dollars may be a lot of money. Now, if you're someone who's a planner, a big planner, this obviously won't work for you book on out, saving the 10 to 20%. I think it's like 13% on average actually, when you book within that two weeks before you check in time frame, then by all means book earlier. This is more for the people who are more penny pinching, they don't have all the money to spend, or they wanna hit multiple cities and that it gets very costly. Saving yourself 13% can go a long way. That could be the difference between 100, 200, or $300. This doesn't only just work for hotels, this also I have noticed works on Airbnbs as well, and the evidence in the articles do seem to support my hypothesis. I will of course leave the links to these articles in the description below, so if you guys would like to read up on it and see where I got my research from, just click on the links below and you'll see a whole bunch of different articles. And if I had to guess, the reason is because somebody staying there is better than nobody staying there. You think airlines would work that way, but they really don't. Maybe if you get on skip lag or something like that. But I'm assuming because it's not sold out that weekend or that week, it's still on the market, they would rather have somebody or make it a little bit of profit than letting it stay dormant and missing another week or so of money. So that was the big tip that I employ. Another tip that I use is I go into a private browser. I don't like people to be able to read my cookies, so I go into a private browser. Sometimes I feel like they might feed off of one each other, they might see what I'm looking at, and the prices may be artificially high. I have noticed that with airlines, so I also do that for hotels. I go into a private browser so you can't see what I'm looking at and see what I am comparing back and forth. And then my third final tip is don't have any loyalty. All right, so forget all those points. If you want to go with Priceline, Adobo, whatever, whatever, they are, whatever these, uh, uh, these travel companies are, I'm going with whoever has the cheapest price. Okay, whoever has the cheapest price, 
you are going to save more money that way if it's a reputable reputable site don't get scammed you will save more money that way than if you were to try to like accrue points or accrue rewards using just one thing. Now, if you didn't know that you're gonna save 13% or up to 20% by booking within the 14 day window, make sure you give me this a like and a subscribe and share this video if you guys know anybody who loves to travel, it will really help them out. And if you are not comfortable, if you are really not comfortable, I wanna say um, not having things booked out, Sometimes certain hotels have free cancellation. So if you book something that has free cancellation, I'll just book it a month or two months or three months out. See where the free cancellation is. If it's in within those 14 days, I like it. So you know what? We'll book that there. Come back. See if the price is cheaper. That's what I did this time going to Vegas. So since the price was cheaper, I canceled my original reservation and I booked a new one. So these are my pro tips that can help you save money. My name is Mr. Nocturnal. Make sure you guys give me a like, comment, subscribe. It really does help this channel grow. And until next time.